O Messenger, Man ahakun nasa bi husni sohbati. Who is from all the people the most deserving of my kindness? Notice the term used is not obedience, it's kindness. Obedience is for Allah. Who is from all the people most deserving of my kindness? The response came in a flash, your mother, Ummuka. Qala thumma man, qala ummuka. Qala thumma man, ummuka. Allahu Akbar, your mother. Who is the most deserving of my kindness? Your mother. And then who? Your mother. And then who? Your mother. And then your father. What does that mean? Those who gave birth to you are deserving of what? Your kindness. Be kind. Watch your words. You can disagree strongly with your mother because she's a human. She could be making a mistake. She could have said things. She could be rough. She might have bad characteristics, bad habits, all that in its place. Be kind. Watch your words. Be respectful. Do not drop your goodness because your mother dropped her goodness. That's what we're taught. And your father too. Talk to them. Speak to them, respect them, honor them. They may be busy doing whatever they're doing. They, according to you, they might not even have had time for you. It's okay. Are you kind? Yes, I'm kind. Do you fulfill the rights on you? Why should I not fulfill the rights upon me for someone else just because they didn't do their part? Don't do that. Allah is watching them and watching you. They might have failed. Does it mean you should fail as well? Don't fail. Be good, be kind. It happens a lot the other way around. What does this mean? As parents, your children grow up and after a while you feel they've abandoned us. They don't even phone us. They're not even interested. And then you get grandchildren. And if you're lucky, you have a moment with them. If not nowadays, they don't even want to see you. So grandpa and grandma are somewhere in the museum. Subhanallah. You might visit them once in a while, just for once in a year or maybe a little bit more or less, depending on where they are. Yes. Communicate, talk to them. They might, they might pick on you, not because they hate you, because they love you, but they may belong to a slightly earlier generation, right? They may be thinking slightly different. It's okay. Tolerate it. Be kind because Allah is watching you. So the parents sometimes they tend to think that, you know what, my child has abandoned me. No, they haven't. They're just busy. They need a bit of guidance. Make it easy for them. Don't make it difficult for them. When they come to visit you, don't pick on X, Y, Z. They will stop coming. Nowadays, that's what happens. You have a child coming, your own children, when they come in your presence, and the only thing you can do is to pick on your shoes, your hairstyle, your this, your watch, the way you're wearing your shirt, your trouser. They will not want to see your face ever again. We're going to see granny or we're going to see I'm going to see my mom. No, I don't want to even go. You know what? They pick on every. So be careful. My beloved parents. Yes, it's your duty to say, but you need to also think where you live. What are the times? How to communicate? Why don't you commend the good instead of just attacking the bad? It's a test upon you, your shoulders. You need to know, realize, understand. It's Allah, Allah's plan. He made them connected to you. But the test is yours. Be kind. 